yeah, it really just kind of deteriorates from here. But thankfully, we're not yeah. expecting anything as severe as what was forecast yesterday. Good news. Yeah, we still have to keep our guard up, though. There's still definitely some threats out there. Here's a look at the timeline. Right now, we're seeing light to moderate rain throughout the area. As we head into the afternoon, about mid-afternoon, we start to see some scattered thunderstorms, mostly to the west. And then late this afternoon and early evening, as temperatures continue to climb, at this point, we're in about the 60s. And that's when we can see some strong to severe storms. So let's take a look at what's going on right now. This line of storms is just kind of part one of what we're seeing as we're watching this warm front move into the area and then followed by a cold front. That's part of the problem here is we have all of these competing forces in our atmosphere. As we're watching this move into our area, though, we've been lucky that we have all of this cool weather. There's not much energy for these storms to really fire up here. So what we're seeing is some storms, even some lightning as it heads towards us and then just some rain as it gets to us. This next one I'm concerned about is right there, so I'll be watching that probably over the next two hours for some strong storms. Likely not severe quite yet, but definitely a potential for some strong thunderstorms. Here's a look at our threat for today. Yesterday, this red extended into our forecast area, and this is a great update. If this is the first time you're turning on our channel this morning, we have some uh, great news as we're going into the noontime hours here. We're now in that slight risk for severe weather, but a slight risk for severe weather is still a threat two uh, out of five there. So you want to keep that in mind. We start with marginal thunderstorms. It's its own kind of category there. Marginal is one, slight is two, and then we go all the way to high at five. We were supposed to be at four, and now we're at a two. A little bit of a change, but still something we have to keep in mind here. Thunderstorms still a high threat. With thunderstorms, of course, you can still have that damaging wind. Straight line winds in certain ways and in certain aspects in certain neighborhoods can be just as damaging as a tornado. So you really need to keep uh, on alert for that. And if you didn't get ready yesterday, if you didn't figure out where your safe room was and maybe you didn't prepare your backyard, you still have time to do so before these stronger storms roll in. But be careful. We also have a low risk of tornadoes still today. We still cannot rule it out and hail is still a threat. So all of these things, while they're less likely, are still something that you must prepare for. You want to avoid travel when there's thunderstorms, avoid going outside. So once you hear that rumble of thunder, you want to get inside if you're doing any final preparations. Know your plan for home and your plan for work if you are at work. I know a lot of folks at home right now, so maybe you want to refresh that home plan. Watch for down trees and power lines, and then of course stay on guard for tornadoes. Let's talk about that safe room. This is important. If you haven't figured this out yet, your safe room is the innermost room on the lowest level of your house. Sometimes bathrooms are perfect because they don't often have windows. Make sure it doesn't have any windows. You don't want to be windows or doors to the out near windows or doors to the outside. You also don't want to be near corners, and if it really starts firing up in your area, you need to make sure you're protecting your head for sure. So here's a few more tips about being inside. Again, staying in the closet, bathroom, interior hallway, also good choices there, away from corners, windows, and doors. Protect your head and do not open the window. If you're outside when something happens, drive to the nearest shelter. If your car is hit by debris, you want to pull over and protect yourself, but not under an overpass or bridge. Get where it is light, low and flat and protect yourself here. These are all tips that we need to keep in mind because this is not over yet. We've been lucky early this afternoon. But we still have a lot more to get to. Here's your hour by hour forecast. We're watching this cell. This is the one I was talking about earlier as it moves through the area. It, by 4 p.m., we're still watching as a few of these storms could be there. I think the timing of this model is a little slow, but this is what we're expecting to happen as we get into the afternoon here. And then as that line moves through, you see the temperatures at that point are on the warmer side. That could cause some problems here because that warmer weather, again, acts as fuel for these storms and makes them more severe. By 7.30, we're watching as it pulls out of our area. Again, I think that timing is a little slow. I think that probably happens closer to 4.30 there. And then as we go through the night tonight, we start to see some showers, potentially some thunderstorms as you're waking up on Friday morning. But then, and I cannot emphasize this enough, this weekend is calm and dry. We have some breezy conditions, but that is it. So as much as you can today, stay on guard because we do have some much nicer days ahead where you'll get to calm down and recover from anything that happened in your own backyard.